Campbell to Callis, who centers, and it's blocked out front by the Blazers. Mason is hammered to the ice by Callis. Really throwing his weight around tonight. And Delaron dumps it in from center, and now Delaron comes after Peter, and Feuder jumps. I believe it's Delaron on the far side, and now we got a full scale blind ball over in front of the player benches as Seaman grabs a hold of his man. And now we've got Bender going out of his sense from out at center ice. All on some pretty disgusting tactics here by the Cowboys Blazers. And now we got Feuder right in the Cowboys. Mason Bend swung it away. Well, everybody's on their feet in the Brand Center as the Bender Sensman fight continues. And now Dubnik and Riki are going to fight the two goalies out at center ice. A six on six wind wall erupts. Dubnik's got the reach on Riki, but he's giving him some right hands here. Everybody going around, pick a fight, which one you want to watch here. Lots of action. Leisman, even in the middle of it, trying to break a couple guys up, and that's where he, anybody can get hurt. I think the Leisman should just let them settle it down on their own. And Futer's got a great no, out going. No. Bell's going to come in and try and pull Bender off Sensman. The goalies are still fighting at center. And now Brady Mason came over to break up this foul incident, which never really erupted. Twice as Gutierrez is pulled off. Futer over there, or Siebert. Listen to the crowd. Well, all started with a big hit by Callis, and they weren't too happy with it. He caught a pretty high hit, I think, and they, they thought he probably should have got a maybe a penalty for going a hit towards the head on, I believe it was. I'm not sure even who it was. A while back already, Rod, and then uh, they went back at Callis when he was trying to change. They knocked him into his own bench, and then that's when uh, Fooder came into his <laughs> And then from there, it was just a chain reaction, one after the other. I don't think there was uh, more than one or two fights where they were really going at it pretty seriously. But uh be some suspensions, I guess, yeah. some guys kicked out. And we'll wait and see how this all settles out. But uh, I think uh, you could almost see this developing because some of the hits tonight that weren't called were meaner than some of the penalties that were called. So Derek Zalaski with his hands full, but uh, in my mind... Uh, brought it on himself we'll take a timeout with 309 to go everybody on their feet and uh, some of them just kept on going right up the aisles and out here <laughs> comfortable with a 4-1 pats lead on the sask lottery scoreboard you're listening to home depot pats hockey on 620 ckrm Pete, let me see your uh, binoculars. Yeah, 60. Throw a 60. Okay. Look at this. Oh, my God. There's a mum down here on the aisle. Yeah. Kirk Terry, Al Dumba, Serena White's over, Joe Hattiesbeck, and John Lynch make up Saskatchewan's number one sports team. I really enjoy the show and just give you and your staff the utmost respect for doing a job every week that's uh, very good. With the largest sports department in the province, 620 CKRM covers your teams like nobody else. I thought officiating was bad. Thanks, Rod. Joined again tonight by past assistant coach. Trust 620 CKRM Radio to give you the most honest, accurate, and immediate news on Saskatchewan sports from the people who know it best. One shot, score! 